A lot of nervousness on Wall Street right now and on Main Street. We're joined by Charles Sachs. He's the chief investment officer at Kaufman Rossin Wealth in Miami. And Charles, first of all, thank you for being here. Sure, yes. glad to have you. Let's start with the basics. People who have a bank account, investments or money with a bank or other financial institution, do they have cause to worry right now? So look, uh, what I would say is if you've got less than $250,000 that's FDIC insured, you have nothing to worry about. Even if you're above that, if you have somebody else on the account, a joint account, for every person on the account, you get an additional 250000 So a married couple, that's 500000 A single person with three children or nieces and nephews as beneficiaries on the account, there's a million dollars of coverage there. And finally, if you're above that or particularly much higher than that, there are programs within bank accounts that will, within the banks, that will give you coverage up to $100 million of FDIC insurance. They'll spread that out amongst many banks. Good so there are know. a lot of different things you can do. Absolutely. And it seems like everything is political these days. And last weekend, Governor Ron DeSantis spoke on the bank's collapse on Sunday morning futures on Fox News. And he seemed to kind of suggest that SVB's so-called woke agenda was the cause for its problems. Let's take a listen to that. It just appears to me, I mean, this bank, they're so concerned with DEI and politics and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think that really diverted from them focusing on their core mission. I also look at it and say, we have such a morass of federal regulations. We have a massive federal bureaucracy, and yet they never seem to be able to be there when we need them to be able to prevent something like this. All right, uh, Charles, what about this notion that because of the bank's agenda or social consciousness, a lot of uh, uh, corporations and banks now want to be good corporate citizens, that maybe this had something to do with the failures of the Silicon Valley Bank and the, the Signature Bank in New York? Look, it's a great soundbite by the governor, for sure. That, that But I think really a, a bunch of different things came, came to roost here uh, that happened really was the perfect storm. You had interest rates that moved up fastest in 40 years that we've seen. We had the bank that invested in U.S. Treasury securities, but long-dated securities that have held to maturity are perfectly fine. And then you had the issue here where the run on the bank that was um, uh, done through Twitter, in a matter of moments, you had billions of dollars leaving. They were forced to sell those securities at pretty much what would be fire sales. So all of that came together, and that's really what's the cause of this. Are you expecting any more bank closures? So I think it was very unique for a number of reasons. Number one, over 80% of the deposits in that bank were above the $250,000 mm -hmm. limit, whereas many banks that we see, it's the opposite. 80 percent are below. So that's the first part, which means there's real no reason for a run on the bank like that. So the answer is no. I think it was quite isolated. And then the network of venture capitalists and startup companies that all collectively pulled out at the same time was extremely yeah. unique. Okay. Charles Sachs. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Appreciate it.